Well, we're off to an interesting start this morning. We have no street parking available today because they are repaving the road. And we're working on a new driveway. So just trying to get everything covered up so we can safely transport our rock to the backyard and get this water feature built. What's up everybody? It is Kevin with Good Earth Water Gardens and we are here today in Prairie Village, Kansas, and we're gonna be installing a small pondless water feature. So we have our aqua basin for this water feature. It's about a hundred gallon reservoir that we're gonna go ahead and sink in the ground. We're gonna go ahead and build up a little bit of a berm area as we want this to face back to the viewing area of the deck and the patio over here. And we're gonna make just a little six foot stream, one of our smaller water features, kind of just a little starter thing to get you going, but adds that element of moving water and just kind of that sound of tranquility in your backyard. So we're gonna get rocking and rolling here. I'll try and show you guys as much as possible. We have a lot of noise and other things going on around here today, so it might make it a little bit difficult to shoot some of these things, but we'll do our best. Since we are working on a brand new driveway here and there is no street parking today. We just wanted to take some extra precautions and lay out some nice thick, heavy plywood across here to where we're not doing any damage and we're minimizing the amount of dirt that we're creating and tracking across here as we go. So this is the area where our reservoir is gonna go. That is the aqua basin right there. We'll go ahead and excavate our space in the ground for this. Go ahead and put all of our excavations where the machine is at here. And we're gonna berm up this area just to get the flow of the waterfall back facing towards the patio space and the deck up here. Today has already been quite an interesting day just with our setup out on the street and just trying to get our materials and machines back here. But I just want to show you something real quick. This machine right here, even though it looks really small and like it couldn't do a whole lot here, we were able to get our excavation done in about 30 minutes. So that really saves us some time, gets us back on track. We'll go ahead and get the reservoir installed here, our plumbing hooked up, and we'll be building a waterfall here in a little bit. All right, so everybody is finally at lunch, so it's a little quieter around here, and I can actually get some good footage here. So David is finishing cleaning up all of our edges around our basin. Our excavation is to the depth that we want, and we are working on berming up this area over here. Now, normally we would have already run our plumbing line and a few other things, but since we are going so hard against the grade here, we wanted to go ahead and get this area all built up to close to our grade close to our ideal grade, and then we'll go ahead and lay our plumbing line and start installing the reservoir over here and getting the rest of the waterfall constructed. Well, with all the hangups and everything we've had going on today, just haven't pulled the camera out very much to show you what's going on, but do want to explain this little thing here. This is our waterfall spillway here, and basically we're hoping to catch the water through this little gap here, have most of it fall down this way, might get a little bit of an effect playing off this rock here. But in order to keep our containment on our stream and to make sure that where the edge of our liner meets our landscape, we don't have any leak issues, we create what we call a weep pocket right here. So basically this is a porous hole full of gravel 
that any of the water that gets past, of, past our waterfall foam on the side here will fall down through this pocket and actually return out underneath this rock here. There's a small cavity through here that allows the water to pass back underneath and then return to the basin. So that way we don't have the water forcing its way over to the edge of the liner and finding its way over. We've got the majority of our rock set now. We're just working on some finishing touches, getting all the waterfall foamed up and getting our lights all strung in. So won't be too long before we'll be washing this thing down and firing it up, see what we've got. Awesome, we are all finished up here. Everything is cleaned up and we're about to roll out. But I'm gonna flip you guys around here in a second, show you what we have. It turned out really good, especially considering all the delays and everything that we had to deal with today. But this is one of our smallest pondless waterfalls. It's a really great way to bring a little bit of running water and the sound into your living space or wherever you wanna put it. It's all finished, we're about to get out. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Awesome. So as always, if you like what you guys see here, remember to drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this. If you like seeing more projects like this, remember to subscribe to our channel and we will see you on the next one.